Hello, welcome to this video lecture on grouping worksheets in Excel. Why do we group worksheets? We group worksheets because when we group them together, we can more easily make modifications to a set of worksheets at the same time and update a spreadsheet's look through formatting or perhaps changing formulas. And we can also summarize data nicely if we're able to group our worksheets together. There are many things you can do to a group of worksheets. You can enter and edit data or formula or label you can change the formatting. You can add or delete rows or columns. You can change the view of your worksheets. And you can also print through a set of worksheets through grouping to make it a little quicker instead of printing each worksheet individually. How do we group and ungroup? It's pretty simple. You simply click on the tab of the first worksheet you would like to include in your group. If you have worksheets that are consecutive to each other, click the first worksheet, hold down the shift key, click the last worksheet in the collection to group them together. If they're not consecutive, they're not side by side, simply click the first worksheet, hold down the control key, and then click each successive worksheet you would like to include in the group, and they will, those will then be grouped together. To ungroup, you have two choices. If there are worksheets in the workbook that are not included in the group, you simply click on that one. If there are none, or if you prefer, you can simply right-click on one of the sheet tab names for one of the worksheets in the group, and then choose the ungroup option. We can also copy worksheets. When you're setting up sets of worksheets for, say, multiple offices or multiple product lines that are going to look a lot alike or ha be exactly the same layout, you can create the first one and then create a copy instead of making each of the others to look exactly like the first. You do that one of two ways. If you're working in a single workbook, it's very easy to hold down the control key, click the worksheet tab name, and drag it over and it will make a copy. Drag it right or left. Or you can also right click on a worksheet tab name and it will then offer you an option where you put in a click the box to check for copying, and then you can control where that copy goes, whether it goes in the same workbook you're currently working in or in another workbook. And you can control where within the workbook it goes through that means as well. Let's take time to take a look at how to do these things. Here we have a set of data. You'll see that I have a documentation worksheet, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. These four quarters worksheets are all set up and laid out with some basic data in them. I can group these together. I simply click on quarter one, hold down my control, or my shift key rather, click on quarter four, and all four of these are now grouped together. I can toggle between the four, but now I've got, I'm back on quarter one. Now, to set up these so that I have similar formatting, because this is pretty straightforward and boring, and you can see that some of my words are covered here, so I'll need to make this column wider. Maybe I need to add in total columns and a total row, perhaps. I probably need to go ahead and set up some of the formatting, since I have a single title here that I'd like to be merged and centered across. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I can go ahead and make that maybe a different font, make it look a little bolder and brighter, maybe put in a color, maybe make it bold, make it bigger. And when you switch to the others, you'll see that it's showing up in the same on all of them. I can do the same thing here with this one as far as merging and centering it. Quarter one. Same type of thing, and you'll notice that it happens, whatever I do on one happens across all of them. Maybe I also want this to be bolded and perhaps centered. 
and this as well to be bolded and maybe I'd like to um, right justify instead of left and so on. My numerical areas, I think I'll put those in accounting format with no decimal places since I'm not showing any. And again, that's happening on all of the worksheets. So I'm getting a consistent look to things. Now, I've gotten quite a ways here. Let's go ahead and I can set up a summary worksheet. So I ungrouped by clicking over on documentation. My other choice was while I was grouped, I could right click and select ungroup. But now I also want to put in a summary worksheet that will sum up and give me the annual total. So I'm going to make a copy of quarter one. So I've got quarter one selected. I'm going to click on that, hold down my control key, and pull to the left. And it's made a copy of quarter one, put parentheses two after it. I'm going to drag that over, put it between documentation and the quarter one. And I'm going to rename this one and call this summary. Maybe I'll just call it annual summary. Oops, pardon me. And this is going to be for 2016. So I probably need to make an extra column. I have three right here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to insert another column. And I'm going to call this quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. I'll need to zero out the data. And I need to make this one the same formatting as the others. I probably need to adjust my column widths a little bit because being an annual amount, I need to make sure that everything will display properly. Now I'll be able to set this up and pull forward the data coming from these each quarter into my annual summary. Those are just a few of the things you can do while grouping.